Lin Chan and Timmy Chan play games. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back, Mario. So, what were you saying? Remember when I found my 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 marbles? <laughs> oh yeah. So uh, we were talking about um, the lesson of this thing is not to be greedy, and we talked about uh, the Nigerian prince, uh -huh. or whatever, and all the social security number. Uh huh. So uh, when we were um, first looking for a place to move out, mm -hmm. uh, um, I was looking online. I don't know if you remember. I was looking online, and then I found this really big place, really nice for really cheap. And so I contact them uh, via like the 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 message link that was on the on the. Um, on the on the website mm -hmm. and then I got an email back and they're like oh here's all the photos of the place and it's it's really nice like it's furnished and everything and they're like we're renting it out for this price but um oh yeah I remember that you remember yeah and then, yeah, yeah. And, then they, and then they were like uh so and then I was like is it possible for us to check out the place before we you know sign the lease and everything like how 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 you know then they were like, oh, it's a month-to-month -month thing. No, they were like, it's a year lease for this environmental price. Everything is ready, you know, it's ready to move in, you know. But you need to place a deposit and stuff like that. So we're like, okay, that's normal because every place requires a deposit, right? Uh -huh. So then so then we're like, can we go check out the place? And then the, the, the person replied back was like, oh, I'm actually in Boston. I'm actually, like, uh, out of town right now, but... Uh, you can go there and check out the building on the outside. Uh -huh. And then, I don't know if you remember. Do you remember vaguely? I don't remember the details. I remember the oh, circumstances. Remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, so, pretty much in the end, I was like, well, I can't, you know, do anything unless you don't, there, unless, like, I check out the place. And then they're like, well, I'll be there this certain days if you want to make an appointment. But in the meantime, like, can, you need to send me a check for this amount of money, amount for, for, you know, for this amount of dollar and stuff like that for your deposit. Remember? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I was like, I don't know where they wanted to check for <laughs> for the deposit when we haven't even seen the yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. They're like, uh, give us all your information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was really interesting. And then so it turns out that like all those pictures that I saw, I... Uh, oh, you found them somewhere else. I found those pictures elsewhere and those pictures uh belong to an apartment in boston massachusetts or something like uh -huh. that and those were the exact same pictures and we called them out on it remember yeah we were like um nice try and they they try to save it but yeah they try to save it and it was just so bizarre scammers i don't remember the details but it was so vague but it was so sketchy mm-hmm Pretty much like send us all your money and then you can have the place, you know. But I won't be there to sign the lease with you because I'm currently traveling or whatever. Mm -hmm. I think the guy was like a missionary or something like that. And then, but the sketchy part was that like the picture of the place that he showed, that he was trying to rent out is like pictures that belong to a different location in like mm -hmm. Boston, like on the other side of the United States, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. Did I get him yet? Oh, there's this bodybuilder guy. I wish like apartments around here or whatever mm -hmm. uh, have like uh, like convenience stores or, or you know like vending machines like how it's in Japan like just oh outside, that was so convenient just outside your door. <laughs> that was so you know? freaking convenient. It was like. Everywhere. Everywhere you go, there's every, a vending machine in sight. Every intersection and every corner you turn, there's a vending machine. Mm -hmm. I love that. And it's not just like a typical vending machine with like snacks and with like drinks. Oh, no, no, no. You can get a vending machine with warm drinks. And food. Uh, you, can you can buy get... eggs. You can buy like... Oh, yeah. There's vending machines for eggs. Yeah, there's vending like machines fresh for... Fresh eggs, fresh fruits. Every for day. Uh, smokes. Uh, there's vending machines for fruit. There's vending machines for women's panties. Because <laughs> why the hell not? And why? Well, at the same time, why? Yeah. Why, Japan? Uh. Like, I know in France, they have vending machines that sells fresh bread. 
mm -hmm. like baguette every day. Uh huh. So like the uh like the baguette is uh half baked, so it's not completely baked, but uh -huh. it's half baked. And every morning, the bakery would go to the machine, put the bread in. So then every time you buy it, it would cook the last. It would. Can, it would bake the bread the last five minutes of it or whatever. Uh -huh. So every time the bread comes out, it's freshly baked. Mm -hmm. So that I, I think that's pretty cool. Well, that, Convenient. that reminds me, like, if only my grandpa had that. Because uh, my grandpa in France, in his uh, town, there are uh, there's a bread box at the beginning of the town. Oh, I have water. How convenient. Why is the door just on fire? To prevent Nothing's you from burning down. There's just fire chilling there. Yeah. Doing its thing. Just chilling. <laughs> but yeah, at the at the beginning of the town, there's a. Oh, the plates are flying. Oh, scary. Uh, there's a bread box. <gasps> Did you see him? Yeah, I think I need fire though. Oh, that's not gonna give me fire. Why am I up here? Wait, why are you upside down? I don't know. How'd you I even here? do that? I don't know, but I... Uh, there's a bread box at the beginning of the village, right? Uh, so every morning you can go and walk to the bread box and it's like part of a... A subscription? A subscription in a way. <laughs> like, a every house in the in the village is signed up with the local bakery and the, the baker leaves to every house one bread, one, lo one uh, French baguette, to enjoy, right? Um, now, of course, uh, we're never allowed to eat that fresh baguette. It's always a, a day-old baguette that we're eating from yesterday. Uh, and every single time, of course, there's a bread box inside the house, too. Like, there's a special <laughs> drawer just for bread. And leave it to France. They, they know their bread, and they have places to put bread. Uh, and this bread box is not, like, a fancy box. It's just a wooden box that's, like, stapled to a... To a lamppost outside. Oh my god! <laughs> so it's like literally a mailbox. Yeah, and yeah. Put bread in and it. And they put baguettes in it, and then you go and get your baguette in the morning. Oh my god! Uh, but we would never be like whenever we went to visit over the summer. Uh, we're like a lot of people, right? So he typically get like one or two loaves. But we're always finishing the the old loaf from the day before whenever we're whenever we're like eating the bread. So it's like. Well, he's from like the the pa the previous two generations where you do not waste food because there's not enough food. Let me get it clear: <laughs> if you're eating a fresh piece of bread that's nice and warm, you're gonna finish the whole damn thing, and then you can later eat the the shitty one. <laughs> Which, uh, like for example, over. Does he, does, Go ahead. Does, did anyone ever explain to him that if you if you finish? the day old bread tomorrow that bread that is fresh today it's going to be a day old he's not stupid i think he knows that but i think he likes the hard bread he likes the hard bread <laughs> that's the secret um but it reminds me like over here in the u.s we have like there's this thing called french toast that everyone very much enjoys yeah it's pretty much mushy bread uh, yeah, it's, it's not even bread. So, so over here, it's basically uh, bread mixed in with eggs and milk, and you cook it, and it's you have this, yeah. this this nice fluffy thing that you eat. Uh, but in France, it's, it's called more like cake. It tastes sort of like cake. I guess you can say that. Yeah. No, the American French toast. It's it tastes like cake, mm -hmm. and you eat it with syrup. Yeah, that's weird. Maple syrup. I guess it tastes. It's heck, sharp. why not? Yeah. This is, I want to get the chandelier. Uh, is it gonna shake? I it guess is not. shaking. Okay, it's not gonna give me money though. Uh, but yeah, so uh, uh, French toast in France is called pain perdu. Uh, it means perdu. lost bread because basically you lost the bread in two ways. It meant it means that. Either one, you lost the bread and you found the bread months later and it's rock hard. <laughs> Or you have this big tub of uh, of uh, egg and milk custard mixture, and you basically went. You submerged the bread. You submerged the bread, and you lost a piece in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but really, what you're doing when you're having French toast is you're 
it's a way of enjoying old bread. So you have this really rock hard bread, and the only way to make it edible again is you put it in. Um, I don't think you can get anywhere from here. No, uh, you put it in an egg and and milk mixture to soften up. Yeah. Right. So it absorb all the milk and the egg. And then it becomes editable again. To to make it the inside mushy, and then you just put it on a pan mm -hmm. and pretty much fry it up. Exactly, and, and that's that's how you're supposed to enjoy French toast. It's really good. I've had it. I, I love the French toast that you make compared to the American style French toast. Well, it's because I use old bread. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and also, like in France, what you're doing on the French toast is you're not adding uh, sugar, you're adding. I, I think I remember this doing so. If you look close, you can tell it's a real photograph. No, I guess they, those things explode. Wait, uh, didn't he find Mario already? Yeah, well, he, I guess he needs to keep calling him. But how come he's not going to get Mario? He he looked down that 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 animal's mouth thing and he saw Mario. Yeah, well that that's where Mario was, so. So why isn't he down there to get Mario? Well, he can't he can't save him yet. He doesn't know how to get there. He can't just jump through that. No, it was big enough for his head, but not his body. So it. But anyway, what ha what what's with the France thing? Oh yeah, so so in France, when you're eating like French toast, for instance, you don't put syrup on it, you just put sugar. You sprinkle some sugar on it. Or at it's, least in- It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing, but at least for my family. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it for everyone because it's not- Or the French crepe, right? I yeah, noticed so you guys eat French crepe with just the brown sugar and nothing else, and that's French crepe. Or that's crepe, but, or the, the, the sweet crepe. Uh -huh. But the crepe that I know is the, that I know of and a lot of people know of it's uh, it's uh, the crepe flour like the can pancake it's really mm -hmm. and then it's uh you you put like chocolate or you put Nutella and you put fruits in it and you put whipped cream in it and then that's the crepe the American mm -hmm. crepe that I know of or the crepe which is supposed to be French anyway yeah it's supposed to be the French crepe but there there's uh, fruits and stuff in it but you guys eat it with just brown sugar <laughs> Did you see the silhouette? It was a, a sexy young lady, and it turns out it's, <laughs> it's a nice fat ghost. I don't know how to beat her. I think I freeze her or something. Mm. I didn't practice as far as you can tell. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so French crepes, all you do is put sugar. Like, that's how we grew up eating so crepes. Simple. Is either Nutella, which you use the back of the spoon, not the not the. Yeah, you do not spread any, or even peanut butter. You do not scoop with the front of the spoon. You yeah, because it's gonna be impossible to scoop. So yeah. you use the back to that way you can spread it around. Uh, or but you yeah, use it's a knife. It's it's all sh sh just sugar. That's that's how we learn to eat sweet crepes. Of course, there are salty crepes that you eat with like meat and all that stuff. Do you guys even have salty crepes, or is that just Vietnamese food? That's salty crepes. No, no, French. There's uh, salty crepes in French cuisine. Oh yeah, uh, we we get it at farmers market all the time. Mm -hmm. Like with all the meat, chicken, eggs, bacon, potatoes. Mm -hmm. well, in any case, we'll talk more about crepes next time. Yep. Ciao, ciao. Bye, everyone. I was going to say, Mario. Bye. Lin chan, dimi chan, lin chan, dimi chan, lin chan, dimi chan. Lin chan, dimi chan, lin chan, dimi chan, lin chan, dimi chan. Lin chan, dimi chan, lin chan, lin chan, dimi chan, lin chan.